Hello everyone, welcome to a new chapter in discrete mathematics and that is binary relations. In this video we are going to talk about equivalence relations. Equivalence relations, this is the symbol of it, it's just a wiggle, is a relation in a non-empty set where the elements of the set are reflexive, symmetric and transitive. So in order to have equivalence relations in a set or in between the elements of the set, we have to have reflexivity, symmetric, and transitivity between the elements of the set. For the elements to be reflexive, each element has to be equal to itself, meaning each element has to have equivalence relations with itself. And for the elements to be symmetric, if one element is equal to another element, meaning if A is equal to B, then B has to equal to A. And finally, for the elements to be transitive, if A equals B and B equals C, then A has to equal C. So as I said, all these three properties have to exist in a set or between the elements of the set, then equivalence relation exists in the set. Let me give you a few examples of those sets that don't have equivalence relations. These are not between quotations examples. So people who are in love, let's say we have a set of those people who are in love, um, we assume that the elements of the people in the set are reflexive. Everyone is in love with himself. Um, but they are not symmetric, meaning if one person is in love with another one, the other person may not be in love with him or her. So if A is in love with B, B may not be in love with A. So the elements are not symmetric. They are not also transitive, meaning if A is in love with B and B is in love with C, a may not be in love with C, therefore the elements are not transitive. So we see we don't have two of the conditions that make equivalence relation possible. Therefore, people in love is not an equivalence relation. Also, x greater than y, this is not an equivalence relation because A is never greater than itself. Therefore, it fails from the first step. Also, if A is greater than B, B will not be greater than A. So we also don't have this property. In the set of those numbers who are greater than another one, if A is greater than B, then B is not greater than A. So it fails in symmetric, it fails in reflexivity, but it doesn't fail in transitive. If A is greater than B and B is greater than C, then A is greater than C. So you see, these two examples were examples of those sets that don't have equivalence relation. Let me give you a couple of examples that have equivalence relation. Well, if you have a set of those people with the same birthday, this is an equivalence relation because all the three properties exist between the elements of the set. First, they are reflexive, meaning A equals A. If A have a birthday of 12th of January 1999, then A equals himself. They are also symmetric. If A has the same birthday and B has the same birthday, then B will equal A and A will equal B in terms of their birthday. Then they are symmetric. Also, they are transitive because if A has the same birthday as B and B has the same birthday as C, then A will have the same birthday as C. So as you can see, we have the three properties that we need for an equivalence relation to exist. Therefore, people with the same birthday have equivalence relation. Let me give you another example. Let's say we have this x differs from y by an integer multiple of 5. So x minus y has to equal 5 times n where n is an integer. Well, this is an equivalence relation because it's reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So let's check. It is reflexive because A differs from itself by an integer multiple of 5. It is just 5 times 0. So x minus x will equal 0. And this is 0 times n where n is 5. So it is reflexive. It's also symmetric because if x minus y equals 5n, then y minus x will equal 5n but negative 5n. So a set of x differing from y by an integer multiple of y is also symmetric. It is also transitive, meaning if A minus B equals 5N and B minus C will equal 5N, then definitely A minus C will equal 5N where N is an integer. Let me give you an example. If we have A equaling 1, B equaling 6, and C equaling 11, A minus B equals minus 5, B minus C will give us minus 5, because 6 minus 11 is minus 5, this is again an integer multiple of 5, and A minus C is 10. This is an integer multiple of 5. I'm sorry, there should be a negative here. Um, 
so a minus c will give us minus 10. So we see a minus b is an integer multiple of 5, b minus c is an integer multiple of 5, and a minus c will give us again an integer of 5. As I said, there should be a minus here. So you see a set of x differing from y by integer multiple of 5 is an equivalence relation. Also, people with the same birthday is an equivalence relation. However, x being smaller than y is not an equivalence relation because it does not have reflexivity and symmetric. Also, people in love is not an equivalence relation because it is reflexive but is not symmetric and transitive. So to recap, an equivalence relation is an relation in a non-empty set where the elements of the set are reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. If these three properties exist between the elements of the set, then equivalence relation exists. If only one of them does not exist, then equivalence relation does not exist. Alright folks, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.